you please tell us uh, what were the challenges of preparing for the role and uh, preparing for the show and what what skills did they really need for casting oh geez I mean you know it we had uh, such a great care from our producers and our creative team to make sure that the understudies had rehearsal time as well and it's so rare to find that usually there's a whole ensemble to rehearse as well but for this show we got to have one to two hours of rehearsal every day and we just got drilled on all of the parts that we covered that was it was really so great. wonderful yeah we have a lot of uh, roles to learn really and it's it's so fun one of my favorite parts about it is with Randy Skinner's tap dancing uh, we get the opportunity to learn each track so we know like the call and answer to it and it's so beautiful to see how it all comes together did you have to have a lot of that tap experience before oh yes uh, many of us started tapping when we were four years old three four yeah my mom had me in tap class on the day of my third birthday <laughs> So yeah, years of tap experience. Thank goodness, got a lot us to today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What other shows have you done? What other shows? shows? Oh, uh, I had my Broadway debut in Annie, the recent revival at the Palace Theater, and then I was also in Cinderella at the Broadway Theater just recently last year. And my Broadway debut was Spamalot at the Schubert Theater. And I've done a few national tours, including South Pacific and Anything Goes. Who are your um, idols or performers whom you really adore and from whom you learn a lot? Who inspire us? There's so many. Yeah, <laughs> yeah truly. I mean, this, this show is all about you know, the Valentine to the movie musicals of the 1930s. And so my 1930s idol was always Sid Charisse and watching her dance. I absolutely loved that. But my current day idol that I just love watching on stage is Sutton Foster. And I love everybody pretty much. I love Ginger <laughs> Rogers and Miller. And I just love the joy that Shirley Temple brings when you see her tap dancing. I, I want to bring that joy every time I take a step. anybody that you would be just interested in. combed far and wide and found the dress that fit best to her. This, was, this was Mod Cloth. I am giving you the Savvy Saver version of Broadway opening night. We're the, we're the understudies, so we're not, our, the spotlight isn't on us as much, so we're allowed to maybe relax into some more cutesy, comfortable outfits. <laughs> Look at this, she's got a floor-length sparkle gown on. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Do it, but it was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.